<laughs> Brittany, thank you for joining us yeah, on no the, uh, the par 417. Uh -huh. Saw you hit an iron there. Can you can you tell us what, what it takes to get to the green here for you? Yeah, I think it's just going to all depend on uh, where you are in the tournament, per se. I mean, um, might go for this green on my tee shot on the first couple days, and then uh, just depending on where I am, you know, I might lay up. But we just hit six iron off the tee today. Just trying to get a full wedge in my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, Obviously, you know, wedge into these greens is uh, is pretty good since they're so fast. So we might hit three wood on the green or we might just hit the six iron. It's the, the risk reward if you're in a couple shots back, you go for it? <laughs> kind of, yeah. It's, it's kind of the, the thinking. Um, as you know, I, I like going for greens and two mm -hmm. on the par fives and, you know, par <laughs> fours even. It's probably no more than a three wood. So, I mean, uh, it's, not, it's not too much of a risk. There's not too much up there. If you get it in those bunkers, it's not really mm -hmm. not that difficult of a shot. So just kind of depends on what I'm feeling and uh, where I am in the tournament. So I guess that begs the question, how are you hitting it off the tee? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I've been doing pretty well, uh, working on a few little things here and there. Um, not gonna overthink too much, you know, just take it as a normal week and uh, not read too much into it. And these greens, are they some of the toughest you've ever <laughs> experienced? Absolutely. Uh, there's so many subtle breaks and they're super quick. I think they're already rolling a 14, the superintendent told us. Wow. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> That's hardcore. today's a Wednesday and they're rolling a 14. I can't wait to see what it's Sunday fine. brings. Totally fine. Have you hit shots out of there yet? No. When we hit, played here a month ago, I hit it over the green in the bunker. From the tee? Uh huh. Driver? No, three wood. From that up tee. Like hit it 85 or hit it 90? No, I, I like carrying it 85. Now, I know you had, I believe it was a Zach Brown band going through your head uh, uh, when you won the craft. Do you have any music yeah, this week? Yeah, for some reason I've been stuck with Sugarland. I've been listening to Sugarland <laughs> on my iPod for the last, this is my fifth week in a row. Wow. So I swear I've been listening to the same songs every <laughs> single day. Um, but they're good songs. They're like kind of re relaxing, calm songs. Um, just getting me ready to go tee it up and uh, hit that first tee shot. So they get partial credit when when you win this week, right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll have me come to a concert. <laughs> I don't know if I can see anything. You tell me, I'll try to go short here somewhere. Might have to re-ask that question about going for the green. <laughs> Has your game plan changed a little bit now? Yeah, uh, I've only played here once and that was a month ago and this is my first time on the back nine. So uh, when I was here, I hit it in this back bunker with the three wood and it didn't seem to be as difficult, but both bunkers are, are pretty deep. You know, I couldn't see the pin, I couldn't see anything and you have to hit it pretty high to get it out. Um, so definitely, probably not gonna go for it if the pin's in the front. Mm -hmm. Probably just lay it up with a six iron, have the wedge in there and try to make birdie that way. But if the pin is all the way in the back, that's when we might go for it, just because I can kind of run the bunker shot out and not have to spin it as much. But still, I mean, it, it should be a, a birdie hole, and if you have to hit it in the fairway, you just make your birdie the conventional way and move on. Very good. Well, thank you for joining us. Thanks. Best of luck on the 17th and the other 17 yes. holes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we'll see you later this weekend. Okay. okay.